exciting week for the club, I would imagine. Yeah, of course. The, the Premier League team coming to town, uh, especially at home, gives their home fans an opportunity to see top quality players. Um, you know, we've had a history of that. So uh, we continue that at the moment. So, um, yeah, it should be uh, something to look forward to, for sure, at Rodney Parade. I was uh, reading the, the manager's comments after the game at the weekend and it, he said he's been watching clips of Brentford uh, through, through his fingers. They're scary to look at. Um, I'm sure you've had a good look at them. What do you make of them? Yeah, of course, they're pre- and you, and you establish, let's get it right, they're an established Premier League team now. They're not just Brentford in the Premier League. They're established, um, good team, able to make good signings with the recruitment that they've got. Um, we'll be looking to obviously build on what they did last year. I think they've got a top-class manager. Uh, lucky enough to meet them last year when I was at Colchester. still we played them in the second second round. Um, it is going to be a test. Listen, it's going to be a test. I think they. what I really like about them is they, they can do um, a bit of everything. They're not just a passing team. They can they can go direct if they need to, switch it quickly when they need to, physically be in a game when they need to. So, um, yeah, look, we... we, we Absolute respect to uh, to the opposition, but of course we have our own game plan that we want to try and put in place tomorrow night to try and continue the tradition here of uh, pushing teams as close as we can. Really, yeah, I saw you in um, in Leicester last season, and you really gave them a good go. I mean, they got a couple of late goals, but speaking to the manager after that, you know, I, I suggested it was like a free pass, and it infuriated him, and rightly so. It was a stupid question, but you know, he he wants to win every game. I'm sure you're the same. So. You, you know, I don't suppose you're going into this just thinking, oh, we'll have a nice night on Tuesday. Well, well look, everybody, you have to believe you have a chance. I mean, what's the point in turning off if, if not, you know? So we have to believe we can get something from the game. Of course, when you play these big teams, um, you need a bit of something to go for you. Maybe at times you're going to need to probably be fortunate at, at times. Um, and hopefully there's a bit of misfortune on, on, on their part. Um, I think we, we fully understand that, but we have to try and give ourselves the best chance to be able to create our own look, if you believe in that kind of thing. So we'll, we'll, go, we'll go into the game as we did against Charlton in the previous in the previous round. Um, if you get moments against these teams, you really have to take them. And at the moment, in, in, in a lot of early games, we're creating, we're creating good opportunities for, for us to score goals. So if we can continue to do that tomorrow night, uh, even if it's... You know, if you look at XGs and so on, there might be less XGs tomorrow night, but that moment might be the be the chance that somebody takes. So, and, and to be a hero and uh, create a fabulous night at Rodney Parade. First of all, we're going to have to find a way of competing. That's that's for sure, of being organised and disciplined against the top side. I'm sure they'll make changes. So, what what's your your attitude towards this game in terms of selection? Well, first, first of all, we you know we're in this morning. We need to look at. Um, we've got one or two players coming back to fitness, which is really positive for the group. I think the team has been very good over the last few weeks, especially with the with the intensity of the games that we've been involved in. We've got one or two players that could probably knock on the door and say, look, is there an opportunity for me to play? I think we'll assess this morning with the physiotherapy team and, and see who's 100% right. Because going into this game, the one thing for sure against the Premier League team is you no know, weaknesses, you know, it's, you, you've got to be fully fit and ready to go. So we'll, um, we'll establish that this morning. We have an idea of the team, of course, that we want to play. Um, but sometimes the day before gives us an opportunity to go, OK, yeah, let's let's go with this team. Um, the possibility of one or two changes, of course, is there. Um, and I think um, we, we, we may take that up, of course, uh, especially where one or two players come back to fit. Uh, I I know you and, and the manager and every other manager in, in football is going to get asked the question about transfers this week with the uh, with the transfer window closing. Um, you've got some players playing really well. Will Evans he can't stop scoring. Are you concerned that someone's going to come along and nick some of your best players this week? Um, never really give it a thought to be honest. It's usually it's sorry. Usually the other way. <laughs> it's usually the other way around. Like we're thinking, well, who we? I'll tell you the next, the next part of that question was who, who are you going to bring in? Um. Which I'm sure it might be, but look, at it, that, that's football. If, if someone comes and puts a bid in for one of our players and that's life and football, well, then we'll deal with that. But that's uh, not something that we've, we've talked about. Well, all we've talked about with players like Will is to keep putting himself into the right positions to score goals, which is what he's done since we've been here. And what we're seeing now is a, is a finishing touch, and that comes with composure, and that comes with listening. Um, and that's the same with one or two other players as well. Great for Harry to score in the day as well, breaking from midfield which is not, we think he's well capable of doing that. 
Um, but if someone comes knocking for any of our players, like any other club, um, we'll, we'll deal with that then. Um, probably will be a surprise, but uh, hopefully we can keep hold of, of course, all our best players. A good problem to have, I suppose. But there you go. You, you, you've almost given me freedom to ask you now you about bringing players in. I mean, yeah. a, a couple, a couple in by 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 the end of the window. I think was was what I've read. How, how, how's that developing? Yeah, I think I am. Um, we're constantly doing. Was it the the end of this week? I believe the end of the deadline. So we are really active. We do have um, selectors that we that we want to try to keep adding to. Unfortunately, we're going to have to cross some players off that because they've chose to go to a division higher. Um, which of course is 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 their prerogative. Um, we obviously uh, want players to come in and play um, to make us better. We've brought in some what we think is young talent from the leagues above that we feel we can help and nurture here. That might be the case again, depending on of course the type of quality that's available. Um, but we have no fear in doing that. We've, we've we've done that since we've been in. With no fear in bringing in a young player to develop as long as. His attitude and character is correct. That has to fit into his, to the group ethos. Um, we're not just going to bring anyone in, but you know he's got a, he's got a bit of certain criteria for us to, to come into this group and come into our changing room. So, uh, but we will be active, and hopefully we can get one or two over the line uh, by the end of the week. And, and just a final one on on the atmosphere tomorrow and what you might expect. I mean, that you know, much has been made of. Uh... You know the need maybe for a cash injection in the club. This is a, a good way to get some cash in, and if you get more more feet through through the through the gates, it, it helps you on the pitch as well, doesn't it? In terms of an atmosphere. Yeah, for sure. Of course it does. I mean that goes hand in hand. I think we've seen it before with good gates at London Parade. It's been able to invest in the infrastructure of the club. Um, hopefully Saturday's result gives one or two people uh, the incentive to come tomorrow night who may not have been able to do it. It's a very difficult ask to have three home games in a week. Um, but I hope the lure of Premier League opposition with top quality staff, top quality manager, um, gives gives the the person who might be thinking, well, I might not come. Hopefully they can come and, and see a spectacle. And one thing we do know here, when Rod and Rocket, it's uh, it's a real buzz. You know, it's a real buzz for everybody and um, quite intimidating stadium. And uh, you never know. You never know. Brilliant. Thank you very much for your time and no good problem. luck. Thank you. Thanks.